Sooner or later, we all ask the question, are we alone in this universe? Beloved American cosmologist Carl Sagan once said, it would be astonishing to me if there weren't extraterrestrial intelligence. But of course, there is as yet no compelling evidence for it. But we're going to challenge that statement by observing new discoveries made by advancements in technology since Sagan's death in 1996. Let's take a look at five of the most realistic possibilities for extraterrestrial life in the known universe. Number five, Europa. Europa is arguably the most mysterious of Jupiter's 53 moons, and it is probably our best chance of finding alien life within our own solar system. To see what makes Europa such a promising candidate for life, we have to look at what lies beneath its icy surface. Let's say you have a drill powerful enough to bore an ultra-deep hole into Europa's frozen outer crust. You would have to drill into the ground beneath you for about 15 miles before breaking through the moon's crust. To put that in perspective, that's about three Mount Everest stacked on top of each other. Eventually you break through, and the ice gives way to a dark puddle of freezing water. You quickly realize this is no mere puddle. This is where things get interesting. We're going to explore the dark waters below in a deep diving submersible. There's no telling what we will find as we submerge into the depths of this dark water world. The moon's core is constantly being stretched and squeezed violently by the enormous gravity of its parent, Jupiter. This creates an endless warming effect from within the moon's rocky center. In theory, life has everything it needs to thrive here. This means on the way down to the ocean floor, you could be swallowed whole by a giant alien shark or crushed by the mandibles of a Godzilla-sized monster crab. Or less exciting, all the life here is microbial and microscopic and you can't see any of it and blah blah blah. Boring. But anyways, if you manage to make it all the way to the ocean floor, it'll take you over 30 hours to get there. That's because this ocean is a staggering 60 miles deep from top to bottom. That's about eight times lower than Challenger Deep the lowest point on Earth. Unfortunately, a mission like this won't be happening anytime soon. However, the US Congress recently granted NASA the necessary funding to send a probe and a lander to Europa. If all goes smoothly, the mission is expected to launch in 2022. Number four, the Boötes Void. A void is a large region of space that has an unusually low number of galaxies within it. The Boötes Void is the largest super void in the known universe. It is so enormous, it defies the capabilities of the human mind to imagine its size, but we'll give it a try anyways. The Boötes Void is 330 million light years in diameter. This means that in a 747 jumbo jet, it would take nearly 400 trillion years to cross the void one way. According to astronomer Greg Aldering, the void is so large that if the Milky Way were at its center, we wouldn't have even known there were other galaxies until the telescopes of the 1960s. Perhaps the most mysterious thing about the Boötes Void is that physicists can't explain its origins or its cause. Computer models suggest that smaller voids are caused by galaxies drawing closer to one another due to gravitational attraction and clearing out large expanses of empty space between them. But this doesn't explain why the Boötes Void exists, because there hasn't been enough time since the universe began for gravity alone to clear out a space of that size. So where do aliens come in? In 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev defined three levels of civilizations based on the magnitude of their energy usage and harvesting ability. A Kardashev Scale 3 civilization can harvest energy on the scale of its entire host galaxy. This means the super-advanced society would probably build massive enclosures around nearby stars, known in theoretical physics as Dyson Spheres. These Dyson Spheres would act like giant solar panels, harvesting enormous amounts of solar energy. So the question is, could the Boote Supervoid actually be an enormous graveyard of dead stars and space junk? It sounds crazy, but it is entirely plausible at this point. But we may never know for sure, considering the void itself is an incomprehensible 700 million light years from Earth. Number 3. The Wow Signal On August 15, 1977, an extremely powerful radio signal was detected by Ohio State University's radio telescope. The signal appeared from within the constellation Sagittarius for 72 seconds and displayed characteristics of an artificial radio signal. Astronomer Jerry Amen discovered the anomaly while looking over his recorded data a few days later. 
He was so impressed by the results that he circled the reading on the computer printout and wrote WOW, which is how the transmission received its nickname. Although the possibility of a natural origin has not been completely discounted, the WOW signal is considered the best candidate for an alien radio transmission ever recorded. In May 2015, a team of researchers using a Russian radio telescope spotted a strong radio signal coming from the vicinity of the sun-like star HD 164595, which is located 94 light years from Earth. It was only observed once for just two seconds by a team of astronomers. Experts say the signal was consistent with something an alien civilization might transmit. But that's still just a theory, and many believe this to be the least likely explanation. The signal may also have resulted from a natural cosmic event or human interference of some sort. With these kinds of radio signals appearing so rarely, humanity may never know their true origin. However, the possibility of some kind of radio beacon for an advanced civilization is entirely plausible and should not be ruled out. Number 2. KIC 8462852 KIC 8462 is a star located in the constellation Cygnus over a thousand light years from Earth. Unusual light fluctuations by the star were discovered by scientists in 2015. The discovery was made from data collected by the Kepler Space Telescope, which observes changes in the brightness of distant stars to detect exoplanets. When a planet orbits a star, the star's brightness usually reduces by around 1%. But KIC 8462 has seen reductions of up to 22%. This suggests something enormous is moving past it. In some cases, these extreme dimming events have lasted anywhere between 5 and 80 days at a time. The most dramatic fluctuation consisted of dozens of uneven, unnatural looking dips that appeared over a 100 day period, indicating that a large number of irregularly shaped objects had passed across the face of the star and temporarily blocked some of the light coming from it. Observations of the star also frequently show smaller dips in brightness that do not occur with any observable pattern. For the first few years astronomers observed KIC 8462, its luminosity would fluctuate by about 0.3% per year. But out of nowhere, its light level dropped by about 2.5%. Astronomers looked at 500 other stars in the vicinity and saw nothing else like it. KIC 8462 is truly one of a kind as far as we know. Some have hypothesized that the objects eclipsing the star could be parts of a megastructure made by an alien civilization, such as a Dyson Swarm. A Dyson Swarm is a hypothetical network of massive solar panels orbiting the star to harvest its energy, rather than fully surrounding it like a Dyson Sphere. Although an advanced alien race harvesting the star's energy is somewhat unlikely, natural explanations cannot yet explain the dimming phenomenon. For this reason, the star remains an outstanding target in the search for extraterrestrial life. Number 1. Earth Stephen Hawking once said, We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop. We tend to think of aliens as bizarre, power-hungry creatures looking to conquer the universe. We assume they would be so different than us, as demonstrated by the iconic little green man we always see in the movies. A stranger from the outside. Anything is possible. There could be little green men out there somewhere. They could come here one day and try to meet with our leaders. We have got to build a wall, folks, between us and the aliens, or we are all going to die. At which point, they would decide to destroy us with giant laser beams. But if you really want to know what an alien looks like, just go into your bathroom, take a deep breath, and look in the mirror. There they are. Who knew aliens were so attractive? Want to see another one? Go find your dog or your cat. Go outside and look up in the trees. It's likely you'll find there are strange creatures chirping away in the branches before flying off into the distance. And that's nothing. Go to Indonesia and you'll find yourself being chased by 200 pound scaled monsters. Sail out into the Pacific Ocean and you'll see gigantic finned giants the size of a house leaping out of the water. Life comes in all shapes and sizes. And most importantly, it can adapt to almost any environment through the process of evolution. For example, meet the tardigrade. These little guys might not look like much, but they can survive almost anywhere. Antarctica, no problem. They can withstand temperatures as low as negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put them five miles under the ocean, no problem. They can withstand pressure six times greater than the deepest ocean floors. Put them in outer space. They'll curl up into a dry, lifeless ball for up to 30 years and still reanimate upon exposure to water and air. This is all made possible by evolution. 
mutations that occur in DNA that are advantageous to a species' survival. So who knows where life could thrive? Tardigrades can do things to survive that seem impossible. You could say they don't even make sense. So why should life make sense on other planets, thousands or millions or billions of light years away? We don't know how life on Earth began, but the important thing is it found a way. And if it found a way here, maybe it always finds a way when the conditions are right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.